plastering. Plastering is a process of covering rough surfaces and uneven surfaces with a plastic material called plaster or mortar to obtain an even, smooth, regular, clean and durable surface. So what is actually a plaster and its composition? A mixture of lime or gypsum, sand and water, sometimes with fiber added that hardens to a smooth solid and is used for coating walls and ceilings. Plastering materials OPC Ordinary Portland cement Lime or clay Aggregates Water and admixture Objectives of plastering To provide an even, smooth and regular clean and durable finished surface with improved appearance To preserve and protect the surface to cover up the use of porous materials of the machinery work to conceal defective workmanship. The properties of good plaster It should be hard and durable. It should be possible to apply it during all weather conditions. It should adhere to the background and should remain adhered during all climatic changes. It should be cheap and economical. It should offer good insulation against sound and high resistance against fire. It should effectively check the penetration of moisture from the surfaces. The tools which are actually used in plastering trowel, float and hawk. The picture indicates the tools which are used in plastering. Method of plastering The plaster may be applied in one or more coats, but the thickness of a single coat should not exceed 12 mm. In the case of inferior or cheaper type of construction, the plaster may usually be one coat. For ordinary type of construction, the plaster is usually applied in two coats, whereas for superior type of works, it is applied in three coats. The final setting coat should not be applied until the previous coat is almost dry. The previous surface should be scratched or roughened before applying the next coat of plaster. In plastering, the plaster mix is either applied by throwing it with great force against the walls or by pressing it on the surface. Types of plastering So there are several types of plaster available which are as lime plaster, cement plaster, mud plaster and stucco plaster. Lime plaster. When this particular lime is used as a binding material, it is called lime plaster. Lime plaster is a type of plaster composed of hydrated lime, sand, and water. Lime plaster is similar to lime mortar. The main difference is based on use rather than composition. Mortar for lime plaster is usually prepared by mixing sand and lime in equal proportions. Cement is small in quantity which is added to the mixture to improve its strength. Cement plaster When cement is used as the binding material, it is called the cement plaster. It is specially suited for dam condition. Cement plaster is usually applied in one coat. The thickness of coat can be 12 mm, 15 mm or 20 mm depending upon the site conditions and the type of building. When the thickness of plaster is more than 15 mm, 6 mm thickness of cement plaster and cement mortar 
having a ratio of 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 is recommended for cement plastering on RCC surfaces. Mud plastering The surface to be plastered is prepared exactly in the same manner as that for lime or cement plaster. Mud plaster is generally applied in two coats, the first coat being 18 mm thick while the thickness of the second coat is kept at 6 mm only. Stucco plastering Stucco is a name given to a decorative type of plaster which gives an excellent finish. Stucco plaster can be used for interior as well as exterior surfaces. It is usually laid in three coats making the total thickness of the plaster to about 25 mm and the first coat is called the scratch coat, second is called a finer coat also known as the brown coat and the third is called as the white coat or the finishing coat. The defects in plaster work, cracking, efflorescence, falling out of plaster and blowing of plaster. Prevention method for cracking, continuous damping of plaster in order to slow down any rapid drying and to prevent cracking from happening. For blistering, usually caused by uneven mixing of plaster which could be prevented by ensuring a sufficient mixing between cement and its components to form plaster. For falling out of plaster, thermal variation could be minimized by the means of water sprinkling method on the surface of the wall to reduce excessive thermal differences. For the case of inadequate bonding, it can be prevented by ensuring the plaster which are plastic enough that is workable to stick into the wall. Imperfect adhesion could be minimized by the act of good workmanship and carpentership. We have to ensure to apply enough pressure to the plaster while plastering in order to ensure the plaster mortar goes into any deep irregular surface and cover any holes as much as possible.